Coming up on Around Kern County, there's a new resource available to residents looking for some support. We're talking with Kern BHRS about the new 988 Suicide Crisis Lifeline. And if you can believe it, back to school is right around the corner. We're showcasing where you can go to get resources for your children when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. There's a new resource for people in our community looking for some support. This week, Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services launched the use of 988, the new suicide crisis lifeline here in Kern County. This three-digit dialing code is being adopted around the nation to connect people to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And here in Kern County, we're one of only 13 crisis centers in California set to field these calls, and only one of two county-run programs actually answering them right here in Kern. If you dial 988 locally, you'll be connected to the Kern County Crisis Hotline, where you'll receive compassionate care if you're experiencing mental health-related distress from BHRS's trained professionals. 988 is so simple. You dial the number, and if your area code is Kern County, you will get a hold of one of my uh, hotline staff who will listen. They're not gonna tell you what to do, how do you live your life, they're just going to listen. If you're having thoughts of suicide, we have a whole toolbox to work with people. If you're just having a really bad day, we're gonna listen non-judgmentally. And if you need resources, we will give you resources. We wanna help in any way that we can. And the beauty is we're there 24 seven and 988, even I can remember. And so we're here 24 seven just to help. You know, 988 is the new word for hope. If you're feeling overwhelming thoughts, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or any other kind of emotional distress, you're encouraged to dial 988 for confidential support. This is the access point that the community can call and reach out to us. They can call or text and this is the way that we can help provide mental health and substance use services to the community. So if somebody is in need of um, crisis outpatient or anything, really children's support, any of our any services that are offered, this is the one way in. And as a reminder, the Kern County Crisis Hotline can be reached 24 seven by dialing their same number, 1-800-991-5272. For more information about this program and other health and wellness resources available within our community, please visit kernbhrs.org. Summer is almost over and Kern County Child Support Services wants to make sure our local students are ready for the new school year. They're hosting their 13th annual Ready Set Back to School Free Health and Wellness Fair in just a few weeks. More than 50 vendors will set up shop at the Kern County Museum on August 4th from 9 in the morning until 12 noon to provide free backpacks to students in kindergarten through 12th grade. There will also be other services, including free immunizations for your children before the new school year, as well as fun games and prizes. August is Child Support Awareness Month, so it's our opportunity to bring information to the community about the services we provide. And we want every child, when they walk into their first day of school, to feel special. And when you have a backpack, it's just something extra that makes you feel like, hey, I'm ready and I'm prepared and I look just like everybody else coming into school today with something that's new for me. Our joy is to see them pick their backpack and we have 12 different colors for them to select from and my team members really get excited when the kids get to pick what they want and leave with a smile and usually by the time they've gone to see all of our community partners, their backpacks are full. Child Support will also be offering these services throughout other areas of our county including Delano, Ridgecrest, Taft, and Rosamond. As a reminder, there is no eligibility requirement to access these resources, but your child must be present to select their own backpack. 
For more information, please visit Kern County Child Support Services.com. During this week's board meeting, supervisors proclaimed July 17th through 23rd as Probation Services Week. Our Kern County Probation Department plays a vital role in our criminal justice system with their probation officers, youth services officers, program specialists, and support staff working together towards their mission of reducing the incidents and impacts of criminal behavior in our community. Officers act as problem solvers, crime prevention specialists, motivators, and educators to break the cycle of reoffending in Kern County's youth by helping them redirect their lives. Probation is an integral part of the criminal justice system and our role will only continue to grow in the future. But most important, and what I would like you to remember during Probation Services Week, is the men and women of the Probation Department. Every day they are dealing with the most challenging people in our county. They are in our community to hold them accountable when they do something wrong. They are also there to provide them opportunities when they are ready to change. Kern County probation officers work on the front lines to hold offenders accountable for their crimes as they achieve their motto, a commitment to a safe community. To learn more about Kern County's probation department and the amazing work they're doing in our community each and every day, please visit kernprobation.com. And we're ending today with a way you can stay up to date on all things Kern County. Follow us on social media. From sharing episodes like this to important announcements, you can find us on tons of platforms. Just search Your Kern County on Instagram, County of Kern on Twitter and Facebook, Official Kern County on YouTube, and Kern County on LinkedIn. We'll see you there. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you next time.